For some dogs, barking in the crate is a self-rewarding behavior, so just waiting it out isn't a great training plan. This is especially true if you have other family members in the house or maybe you live in something like an apartment. Keep it quiet up there! I'm on it, Mrs. DeVille. In this video, I'm going to give you some simple tips to stop your dog from barking in their crate at night so that you can get a good night's sleep, they can get a good night's sleep, and so can your downstairs neighbor. I'm Ken Steep, and welcome back to McCann Dogs. Now, if you're continuing to struggle with your puppy barking in their crate overnight, I want you to set some time aside during the day to work through this behavior. And if the only time that your puppy's going in their crate is at night, overnight, while you're sleeping, then you may have found the solution to your problem right there. Your puppy really needs an opportunity to understand that the crate is a safe, comfortable, happy place to be uh, no matter what time of day. And a great way to really um, instill and reinforce that uh, sense is by having them in their crate when you're watching TV or popping them in their crate during the day when you're making lunch or at any time that you think it would be better uh, if your puppy were hanging out in their crate, maybe enjoying their favorite chew toy and you aren't able to supervise them, then put them in their crate. You really want to build on the idea that they're crate is a great place for them to be regardless of what time of day it is. Chew toys are a great pastime for your puppy when they're in their crate and it's a really great way to keep them a little bit distracted and not so focused in, on the idea that they've got to remain in their crate. So maybe take their favorite you know nylon bone and pop it in the crate so that they have something to do if they're not ready quite ready to go to bed yet. If you're in the process of potty training your puppy be sure that your puppy's not letting you know that they need to go out to have a pee. Now I'll post a link to a video above that are the four most common mistakes that people make when they're potty training their puppy. After you've established that your puppy doesn't need to go outside, then we're gonna talk about a couple of ways to interrupt the behavior that stops them barking and what you need to do next. If you're struggling with your puppy barking away at night, it's really important that your puppy is within eyesight or earshot of you. So bring their crate into your bedroom or close to wherever it is that you're sleeping at night because we're going to want to keep a close eye on that puppy and we're definitely going to want to be able to communicate with them when they are barking. The first interrupter I want you to use is your voice. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the barking can be a pretty self-rewarding behavior for a lot of puppies. And uh, what you need to do is break them out of that cycle of that barking, barking, barking. So simply something like an ah, ah or hey. Ah, ah. Something that's going to um, catch them off guard, interrupt the behavior, and when you when they pay attention to that sound, you can begin to praise them. When they stop barking and they take a moment and they relax a little bit, you can tell them how good they're being for being quiet. Good girl, good quiet. Now some puppies won't even respond to the verbal, whether they can't hear it over their barking or it's not an acute enough interrupter. You'll often find for those puppies, tapping on the top of the crate or tapping on the side of the crate is a sound that they're not expecting. So in that uh, knock knock sound, that moment where they break that cycle of barking, they'll uh, you know maybe investigate what that knocking sound was, you're gonna have a moment to start to praise them for being quiet. And it's really important that you do lay on that praise when they are quiet because you really wanna capture the moment that they've made a good choice. Ah, quiet. Good girl, good quiet. Now what if your sleeping arrangement doesn't allow your puppy to be within arm's reach? Well, I've got a trick for you. Simply clipping your leash to the door of your puppy's crate or clipping a long line onto the door of your puppy's crate or the side of the crate can be really helpful. This allows you from a distance to have good timing with that interrupter. If your puppy starts barking, you can jingle jingle on that crate and the moment they investigate the sound, you can start to praise them for being quiet. But this allows you to be at a greater distance from your puppy and still be able to give them the information that that barking at night isn't allowed. Good, quiet, good girl. And this is something that I used for my dog, Deegan, who, uh, you know, I started to crate her uh, far too late in life, and she really struggled overnight. She really struggled when I was at a distance from her. So I clipped on that long line, and every time she'd start to fuss or bark in her crate, I'd jingle that door, and then when she, uh, you know, would investigate the sound and sort of check in with me, I would start to praise her. It was a really, really helpful tool to teach her that that barking behavior isn't what I want. 
By working on a couple of these exercises with your puppy, they're gonna very quickly figure out that barking in their crate overnight isn't allowed. And that sort of clear information is going to be really helpful for you to find a resolution and to have them rest comfortably in their crate. Now, if this is your first time on our channel and you consider your dog a member of the family, then make sure you hit that subscribe button. We publish new videos every single week to help you to have a well-behaved four-legged family member. Do you see that video beside me? That's actually a video all about teaching your puppy to love their crate. And I think you're going to find it really helpful. On that note, I'm Ken. Happy training. Bye for now.